Cool. I guess before we get into grading and stuff, what is flame? What is figure and how does it come about? Yeah, so figure is uh, caused for two reasons, two primary reasons, of which one we know a lot about and the second we don't. So what we know a lot of is what's called compression figure. So if you ever looked at a tree, well, first of all, figure in trees is rare, very rare. And the number one most common type of figure is called compression, and hence the name. It's got lots of uh, weight crushing it. And it distorts the wood grain, but that's usually isolated. So if you have a tree that has a large limb, it's usually located right where the limb meets the trunk of the tree. And uh, I I have gone out countless times where I get calls to cut trees, and because someone thinks you know they've they've won the lottery and they've got a tree full of figure, and I tell them I'm not cutting your tree, and they get really upset. And I'm like, listen, I'm not cutting down a tree for 15. Bo- I'm not going to kill a tree for 15 board feet of figure. Mm-hmm. And when you put it in the, for that perspective, people start to, I mean, unless the tree has to come down, but then we'd have to, you know, it, it may not be worth it. Number two figure, the type of figure is what all wood suppliers are after. And that's genetic figure to this day. Nobody knows why, but I can tell you this from cutting trees with figure, uh, genetic figure is that it's, it is what it is. If you see a large a rock curly maple tree and there are offshoot saplings those trees will have figure if mom has figure it is genetic and the other important note with uh genetically figured trees is it's much more abundant and it usually goes far throughout the depth of the tree and in some very rare cases will go all the way through the tree right into the heartwood and um yeah, it's it's what we're all after. But it's a lot of times you don't get that heads up. You know, you don't really know until you cut into the tree. And that's where it gets really risky. You pay good money for a log. You think you know what you have. You cut it open only to realize, you know, 75 percent of the tree is firewood, which we get free here. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so by you know, a log, um, you know, because you because you're always listen, I put myself in my customer, the, the you know, either whether the, it's the homeowner or the log, the log buyer, log seller, I get it. They're trying to make a living, but I've also got to make a living too. Be careful. So, so it's a tricky business, man. It really is. Yeah. Um, Hey, if you like that video, it's part of a larger video that we did that you can find at our channel. While you're there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notifications bell to be notified anytime we post more cool guitar related stuff.